Good morning and praise the Lord, Apostolic. Paul said to the Corinthians to be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Praise God for giving us another day. There is so much to be thankful for. Thank you for joining Dr. Brazier for prayer. Please click the like icon and share this broadcast on your profile. Let us know where in the world you are tuning in from in the comments and prepare to be greeted by our pastor, Dr. Byron T. Brazier. Praise the Lord. Good morning in Jesus' name. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Let everybody give God a great, great hand praise. Uh, the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever. And I'm just so thankful uh, to you and for you for what the Lord has done in all of our lives uh, because the Lord has just been good to us. Uh, I am thankful for what we know. I'm thankful for where we have been. And I want, I want to tell you that 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 I had a great, great time uh, yesterday uh, in uh, Sunday morning Bible, I'm sorry, in Daytimers on yesterday, where we really dealt with the, the this, this understanding of uh, the body of Christ. Uh, there is, the, there is the, the, the church that's the body, and there's also the church that is the institution. And yesterday we dealt with uh, the church that is the body of Christ. And when I, when I come online and I look at the names and uh, that are on here, I, I I don't just see the names. I see the body of Christ. I see what the Lord and where the Lord has taken us, what the Lord has done in our lives. So to you, Charmaine Lane and Jennifer, uh, uh, to Carla and to Joel, uh, Joel Brown and to Carla Martin, to each and every one. When we uh, come before the throne of grace, we come before the throne as the body of Christ, and which, takes, which uh, reminds me of the scripture that we took that we had on yesterday, uh, where it says, according to his divine power, I have given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. So we received through the power of the Lord, all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that called us to glory. But in verse four, it says, because of all those things, that's where the whereby means, because what of what his power that pertains to life, uh, and we have the knowledge, we are given exceeding great and precious promises. Just think about that. Uh, when, when you come before the Lord, you come before the Lord knowing that you have received precious promises, uh, maybe Finley, precious promise, promises, Ken Mosley. You receive precious promises. Uh, uh, and by these, you become a partaker uh, of the divine nature. You, you become a part of the body of Christ. Uh, and, and when you become a part of the body, you have escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. So in all these things, as part of the body of Christ, we are here together, uh, Lisa Brewer. We are here together as, as the body. And you, may, you might um, uh, be a, a, a small part or you would make us a, a small part of the body. Or you might, you know, some people say, well, I'm the head. And some people, you know, may say, I'm this, I'm that. Uh, uh, I don't care what you think you are. Uh, uh, just being a part of the body is the most important thing. What you do is where the Lord places you. And what you do today is not going to be what you do tomorrow. Uh, uh, and, and you're not going to be any better than somebody else. Uh, you're not going to have any, 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 any more eternal life than, than anybody else. Once you're in the body, you're going to have eternal life. And there's nothing more or better than eternal life. So as you go through this day, know, know for an assurance that you are, are, you are at the top of your game, uh, that the Lord is blessing you at the top of your game. The Lord is blessing you to fulfill that which he has called you to fulfill. And, you, and you, we should be confident, uh, capable about what the Lord has provided for us. Uh, uh, and as you approach today, approach it. Uh, as you leave your door with great gratitude, approach it, leaving your door with great understanding and knowledge that you have received precious promises. You received it. You are kept by the power of God. 
Uh, and, and so to you, Patricia Sanford, I want you to give God all the praise. You have received precious promises. San Benita, Frank, Sandra, you have received precious promises. Do not walk around depressed. Do not walk around with your head down. Walk around with your head up. And, and you may be going through something. You may be going through. I know there are caregivers that are on this list. You're going through right now. Give God the praise because you, when you praise him, you're going to feel better even when you're doing the things that are most difficult, even when you have to face the things that are most difficult. Because the Lord, our God, we know that he is able to do things far beyond what we ask or think. When you pray for your children and your children's children, there may be those, your, your children, your grandchildren, they may, they may be incarcerated. You ask the Lord, Lord, bless my grandchildren, bless my children, that your, your parents may be sick, your husband may be sick. Lord, bless my husband, bless my wife, bless my, uh, my loved ones, bless those that, that, uh, that we care about, bless those that, Lord, that, that, you, that, that, uh, that you know that we love and that you love. And so we pray that the Lord will bless uh, you all day long. We pray that the Lord will bless the church. The Lord will bless us as we go about our, our days and our times, the sick and the afflicted and the homeless. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we do come giving you honor, glory, and thanks for your goodness and your mercy and for your great grace. We do thank you because, Lord, you have brought us to this place of gratitude. You have brought us to this place of understanding. You brought us to this place, Lord, where, where, where we, are, we are delivered. No matter what is going on in our lives, we are all ready delivered we are kept by your power lord we have we have been given great and precious promises and now lord you have you have shielded us you have sealed us and lord we walk in your presence each and every day and lord we are thankful for the presence we are thankful for your gifts we are thankful for your love we are thankful lord for the for your for all the things you have been and done in our lives lord now we pray your strength upon us as we go about our day. Bless us, O Lord, as we as we hear your voice. Bless us, O Lord, as we uh, see the things of this world and we turn away from the things of this world. Lord, bless us, Lord, as we lift up your name each and every day, as we lift up your name on our way to work, at work, in the stores, going about our day. Lord, bless us, Lord, as our hearts continue to, to praise you and to continue to Cry out, oh Lord, but we cry out not in anguish, but Lord, we cry out in endurance. We cry out, oh Lord, uh, in a shout. We cry out, Lord, because the love that we have has to come out. The joy that we have has to come out. For the joy that we have is in our bones, and Lord, and so we do thank you, oh Lord, for the things that you have given, the deep things, Lord, that you have blessed us with. We thank you for our children and our children's children. Bless them, Lord, as they go about their day. Bless them, oh Lord. As, you, as they are secured in you. Lord, we ask that you will touch their lives. We ask, oh Lord, that you will touch their minds and give them, oh Lord, that confidence and that assurance that only you can provide. We ask, oh Lord, that you bless the sick, the afflicted, and the homeless, those who are incarcerated, those who are in the hospitals, those who are facing surgeries, those who are recuperating. Lord, allow them to heal in your presence. Allow us, O oh Lord, to walk in your presence. Allow us, O oh Lord, to speak your name in it while you are present with us. Lord, we ask that you will bless us as we testify of your good name, of the great grace that we have received. And Lord, we will forever give you the praise, the glory, and all the honor in Jesus' name. Let us say amen. Amen, amen. I thank the Lord for you. May God bless you. May God keep you. Danny McGinnis. Uh, America Roberson. May God bless each and every one of you. Uh, looking forward to seeing you in Bible class on uh, on tonight uh, and the gathering of the saints. We're going to continue our journey concerning the church. Uh, and please, if you get a chance, look at uh, our daytimers, the Empowered by the Word that, we, that was broadcast on yesterday. Uh, and then we, on tonight, we will have also the uh, word encounter uh, with the uh, with our youth, and so that's going to be one. That's going to be a wonderful time. Make sure if you have children and grandchildren, make sure 
that they get on. Call, call, call your call your children if you have grandchildren. Uh, if you've got great grandchildren, call them uh, and and make sure that uh, that your children, their children, that your family is on the our children are on word encounter. Uh, and then on tomorrow, uh, we're going to begin a wonderful time for our women uh, in the Expo Sisterhood Connection Women's Expo. Uh, please, please uh, sign up and register RSVP. Amen. So I thank the Lord for you. May God bless you. May God keep you in Jesus' name. Be strong, be safe, be encouraged. And whatever you do, give God the praise. May God bless. It's time for a revival at the Apostolic Church of God. God wants us to ignite the fire in us to draw what's close to Him as He transforms our lives to live out His truth. This year's theme is Truth, Trust, and Transformation. October 26th through the 28th, it will be three days of the Word and worship with three dynamic speakers. Elder David Hollis, Suffragan Bishop Yolanda Hunt, and our very own Dr. Nicholas Pierce. Nightly service will begin at 6.45 p.m. with personal prayer and worship begins at 7 p.m. Don't miss these impactful three days of being rejuvenated, restored, and revived. See you there. Praise the Lord, women of apostolic. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Sisterhood Connection is doing big things with Jesus at the center and with you in mind. I'm Kelly Medias, and I'm excited to personally invite you to the Women's Expo, October 7th through 9th, here at ACLG, as well as our virtual platform. Our theme for the weekend is the choice to trust. And it's a weekend you don't wanna miss. Jennifer, why are you excited about the weekend? Ladies, I cannot wait to get my gospel yes. going. Yes. It's going to happen on Friday at the Praise Party. And you can join us either virtually or in person as we dance unto the Lord. Yes. They're going to be games, prizes, and a DJ on site. I can't wait. Me either. Caprice, what's happening on Saturday? Well, on Saturday, we will hear from our very own First Lady, Evangelist Mary Brazier. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have Evangelist Loretta Clark, All right. Evangelist Paula Smith, and Dr. Willetta Green Johnson. Yes. They're going to teach us on how to trust the process. Yes. Mm -hmm. But we'll also have a special experience that will help all of us on our road to trusting God more. And there'll be a little space for shopping. But there's more. That's right, Caprice. The weekend will conclude with a preacher Rama with evangelist Yolanda Paramore, Teresa Nichols, and Gwendolyn Blair. Join us at 9, 10 a.m. and 11.40 a.m. And we are going purple that day. Wear your favorite purple dress, skirt, hat, you name it, as we worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Ladies, did we mention that this expo is free? Free. This time. But we still need you to register, whether you plan to attend in person or virtually. Please register online by scanning the QR code on the screen or just go to our website at acog-chicago.org or through ACOG Chicago mobile app. We also have a few slots for vendors, so if you're interested, please email sisterhood at acogchicago.net. There will be a $50 vendor fee to secure your spot if you're selected. So there it is. We look forward to worshiping with you at the Women's Expo, October 7th through 9th. Be there. Yes, I'm oh, going to be there. You're going to be there? I'm going to be there. All right. Yes.